10-day Manipur Sangai festival concludes, governor says the festival will bring prosperity in the state. BJP leader Ram Madhav assures that final decision on framework agreement will not be taken without the consent of stakeholders. Powerful IED found at Koyatong. Police suspect that it is different from those found earlier. And Manipur's Mirabai Chanu wins gold at World Weightlifting Championship in the USA. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Yushum with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. The 10-day Manipur Sangai Festival 2017, which began on November 21st, concluded at Bhagya Chandra Open Air Theatre Boat in Palace Compound today. Speaking as the chief guest at the closing event, Governor Dr. Najma Habtullah hoped that the festival will not only bring development but also bring peace, harmony and prosperity in the state. She maintains that the festival aimed at promoting tourism in the state not only provided platform to every community in the state to showcase their traditions, songs, dances and cultural lifestyles, but it also gave the opportunity to showcase various indigenous handicrafts products. She asserted that it is inevitable for inhabitants of both the hills and the valley to take equal responsibilities in making the state a tourist destination. She highlighted that making Manipur a tourist destination will not only enhance the state's economy, but also introduce the state to the rest of the world. Dr. Najma Habtullah also expressed happiness at Manipur team winning the international polo tournament and Manipuri player Mirabai Chanu winning gold in the World Weightlifting Championship held in the USA. I think this Sunday festival started with a very good note and it is not ending, it is the beginning as the person who was welcoming us said, this is the beginning for a new era for our state Manipur. It's my pleasure to be with you all today at the closing function of the Manipur Sangai Festival 2017. Chief Minister Nong Thumbabirin has declared that from the next edition, the Sangai Festival will not be celebrated in the valley alone but will also incorporate Cherry Blossom Festival at Mao. He also expressed his gratitude to the people of the hills and the valley for making Sangai Festival a grand success. The opening day of the festival was marked by North East Business Summit and various MOUs were signed between the government and companies from outside. He said this was a great achievement for the people of Manipur. He further said as the festival comes to an end, it is time to focus on development by bridging the gap between the hills and the valley. The closing event was also attended by Meghalaya Governor Ganga Prasad. <laughs> In the Dauriba Sangai Festival, Mau Yadumba Seri Lonsum Flower Festival, part of Sangai Festival, Varakanda, Mau Dusu Sangai Festival, Yadumba Pankoko, Yorogani, Singamaditam, Punsala Pugi, China Rubisil, Tenor Bada, Honor of the Kaminaba, Hara Raga, the voice Haminaba, Shominabito, Sangai Festival, Madugi Party, Punsala Manipura, Kamato, wherever Singham Punamasa. National General Secretary of BJP Ram Madhav has assured that the final decision on the framework agreement will not be taken without the consent of the stakeholders concerned. He made the statement during a party meeting held at BJP office at Nite Park to take today. Responding to media query, Ram Madhav said the framework agreement is a paper documentation of the ongoing talks between the government of India and NSE and IM. 
He asserted that the framework agreement is under process and the final outcome is still awaited. The BJP leader also assured that not only after reaching the final stage, stakeholders of Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh will be consulted. He rubbished the campaign by the Congress party demanding disclosure of the framework agreement as mere provocation. Congress party is bankrupt of ideas, bankrupt politically, bankrupt ideas wise also. Framework agreement is a one page document expressing the intent for negotiation and talks. Things have progressed so much. Today talks are happening between certain Naga groups and the government appointed interlocutor. This moves forward. In any case, I would like to assure everyone that uh, whenever these talks progress reach a final stage, all the concerned stakeholders, including the state governments of Manipur, Assam, Arunachal and any other stakeholders, civil society groups, every one of them will be taken into confidence. They will also be, their views also will be heard, their views also will be accommodated. Then only any final thing will happen. Chief Minister Nong Thung Mambirin asserted that the Congress party must have known the details of the framework agreement. He claims that the BJP is not aware of the details of the agreement and is constituting a committee to know the details. Birin was speaking to media persons at BJP office at Nite Park to take today. Responding to media query, he said, the statement made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a visit to the state that the information on the framework agreement was made known to the MLAs and leaders of Congress party when it was signed is approved that Congress party knows the details of the framework agreement. He also said the Prime Minister also had mocked if the Congress party was in hibernation for more than a year as the party denied of knowing the details of the agreement. Biren assured that the results of recruitment held before model code of conduct will be declared after recommendation by SIT while new recruitment process will be conducted for recruitments held in violation of the model code of conduct. क्या दो साल सो रहे थे क्या निन में सो रहे थे क्या कांग्रेस के लीडर पुनः मकता प्रेम वांग एग्रीमेंट आईसीसी या वो लोई हाई की ना है ना प्राइम मिनिस्टर ना तो कुछ ना हाई दे दे मुझे लोई खंगाम गनी है मुझे खंगाम गनी है बाय कोई दिक्कत है दिक्कत नरांग तो लाए सीधा इधर कोई दी मतलब खंग बंग अंदरी खंग ना बहुत होना दिन रात ना बहुत कोई कमिटी के सेम दाना खोट ना कंट दौड़ी अत प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ना हाई बे उसे फेसबुक तक इधर लोई ना बाहरे लोई रहते ना था सही अम्म मखाई तुम ले रुब्रा ना ना 2014 दिन नगी बे फ्रेमवर्क एग्रीमेंट नहीं आई ना फ्रेमवर्क एग्रीमेंट तो हम the state cabinet today approved a new transfer and posting policy for government servants at cabinet meeting held at Chief Minister's Secretariat with uh, Chief Minister Nong Birin in the chair. As per the policy, normal tenure of posting of an officer or employee in a post will be a minimum of two years and maximum of five years in a place of posting. At least one posting in Hills will be mandatory for the next promotion after completion of 10 years of service. The cabinet also approved the extension of the disturbed area status in Manipur, excluding Imphal municipal area for a period of one year with effect from December 1, 2017. The cabinet also decided to recommend the governor of Manipur to summon the third session of the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly as the winter session from December 20, 2017. A powerful improvised explosive device, IED, weighing one and a half kg, was discovered early this morning at Koyatong in Imphal West. Locals found the IED in front of a shop around 6.30 a.m. A team of Imphal West police, along with the bomb disposal squad, rushed at the spot. The bomb disposal squad tried to defuse the bomb but could not, as the nature of the IED was little different from the ones they have defused or exploded earlier. Police halted the movement of traffic on the road while the IED was detonated to prevent prevent damages around 12 noon. Police suspect that the IED would have caused extensive damages in the area if it, was, if it exploded. No underground outfit has claimed responsibility for the plantation of the IED. Imphal West Police has filed an FIR and are investigating into the incident. However, police did not rule out the possibility of monetary demand on the owner of the shop.
What we have done is a device, uh, it's a controlled uh, explosion only. So that's how the damage is controlled to a large extent. And uh, we don't know what the uh, nature of the content is. Or this uh, this is, uh, here is the first time. In fact, uh, we were not aware that uh, of the uh, whether there had demand or not. We have not got any information. But I think it's related to UG demand as per this. Education Minister Thokchum Radisham yesterday laid the foundation stone for the Government Polytechnic in Tamenglong at Kongjaron near the five Manipur rifles. Radisham said the Polytechnic will start its session from next year. The minister who had served as the SP of Tamenglong district for three years said the problems facing by the people of the district are not new to him. He said development of the district is the government's top priority. Radesham observed that the new polytechnic will benefit the people of the district. The minister also assured of establishing a new higher secondary school in Tamenglong and introducing science stream in Tamenglong Government College. Tamenglong MLA Samuel Zendai, DC Tamenglong Armstrong Pame and several government officials attended the event. The village uh, chairman of Langkong Ching village, uh, KT Kotil Maring, has urged the government to provide electricity to the village before the Christmas. The village, which is more than 30 years old, is without power supply since it came into existence. The Langkong Ching village under Mori subdivision of Technopol district is inhabited by Maring community and is about 7 km from Kuding Tabi village, which is about 17 km from Mori on National Highway 102. Village chairman KT Kotil Maring told media persons that the villages that the village has a population of 170 and school going depend on um, kerosene lamps to study as there is no power supply. He said the parents send their children to Palel for their education as they fear that the children will not be able to get proper education in the village. Some electric poles which were brought to the village about 20 years ago for electrification of the village were lying rusted in a place. He appeals to the BJP-led government to electrify the village before Christmas. <laughs> Sing Yam Awaba, become a Malay, Lok Taki, Kilometer, I do Ahum Chalaga, Nipi Angang Singa, Hot Kalaga, Saraga Laye, a good Isukun, Yam Awaba Maoye, a good direct Tamba, Angang Singi, the Mugdasu, Yamna Kodong Tiba Msu Oigre, a Tusamasu, warming is with the Tisipigi, warming the Duna, a tuba matam did a low be on a request of Jari, a broker on so a Tusu Awaba, Kodong Tiba Msu Oye, a Tusu Amasu. The government of India today handed over 300 tons of steel structure for Bailey Bridge at an event held at Tamu. An agreement was signed between the officials of the government of India and government of Myanmar. Deputy Chief of Mission Embassy of India, Myanmar, B. Sham, represented the government of India and Major General of Myanmar Army represented the government of Myanmar. The Major General thanked India for providing the structure of the Bailey Bridge. After the handing over of officials of both the countries, visited the Indo-Myanmar Friendship Gates No. 2, Namphalong Market and the Minal River running between the two countries. A public hearing on the expansion of the Manipur Zoological Garden Iroshemba was held at Iroshemba Polo Ground today. The public hearing was organized by State Social Impact Assessment Units under the Directorate of Environment. People voiced their opinions on the acquisition of the Polo Ground of all Manipur Polo Association, which has been a breeding farm for the ponies for years for the expansion of the zoo at the public hearing. President of the Polo Association, K. Sarachandra, spoke on how polo grounds have been disappearing despite the cries for preservation and promotion of the polo, which originated from Manipur. He said, the polo ground at Iroishemba was maintained by forefathers to promote and preserve the game of polo. He expressed a disappointment at the government's decision to acquire the land when the association is making all out efforts to protect the ground. Director of Zoological Garden, Gaitan Lo Thaume, explains that there is an inevitable need to expand the zoo as per the recognition of zoo rules. He said, this is not the first time that the authorities are making efforts to expand the zoo. He also said the records show that the zoo was expanded in 1999. Gaitan Lo Thaume appealed to all to extend cooperation to make the zoo more attractive to attract more visitors. 
President of Iroi Shemba Youth Development Club, I Pulendro expressed the need for establishing a branch of the zoological garden at the second home of Sangai at Langol instead of acquiring the polo ground. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam has alleged that private schools have become a business hub for selling textbooks, school bags, uniforms, schools and socks, etc. The student body has warned these schools to stop this practice and said it will look into the issue of high tuition fees in the coming academic session 2018-19. At least uh, 304 kilograms of ganja worth around 4 lakh rupees seized by Litan police were set on fire. The team of Imphali's police, Litan police, Lamlai police and NAB under the supervision of DIG Vandana Karki destroyed the contraband ganja at Kangla Hanbi ground, Pungdongbam, Chingmang under Lamlai police station this morning. The contraband ganja was seized by Litan police during 2014 and 2015 under the ND and PS Act. It was destroyed following a direction of the Chief Judicial Magistrate Ukrul issued on the 13th of this month. Uh, Litan police station of Ukrul district in connection with two FIR cases, they have seized 305 cases of ganja in the year 2014 and 2015. For disposal of such cis drugs, committees are formed from time to time. This time, a committee has been formed. The chairman of the committee is Srimati Bandana Karki. So we are disposing the cis drug by burning them. The 52nd uh, Raising Day of Border Security Force, BSF, uh, Sector Headquarters Counterinsurgency Operation, Manipur, will be celebrated tomorrow at Sector Headquarters, Koringai. Speaking to media persons in connection with the event, Deputy Inspector General of BSF Counterinsurgency Operation, Manipur and Nagaland, Angom Samu, said, BSF, a first-line defense of India, predominantly involved in guarding the frontiers of India, was established on December 1, 1965, with only 25 battalions. He said the BSF has now over 186 battalions, including three NDRF battalions. Shamu said the BSF is guarding entire Indo-Pakistan and Indo-Bangladesh border besides guarding the line of control along with army in Jammu and Kashmir. He said the force also guarded the Indo-Myanmar border in Nagaland and Manipur. However, it was withdrawn in 2003. He said the three and four battalions of Manipur rifles were converted into BSF. Shamu further said BSF is also deployed on internal security duty in Manipur, Nagaland and Meghalaya besides anti-naxal operations in Odisha and Chhattisgarh. He said the BSF has been guarding the country and protecting the people during the time of war. On the other hand, responding to media query on the purposed deployment of BSF instead of the Assam rifles in Indo-Myanmar border, Angom Shamu said there is no information on the deployment as of now. 1st December 2017, 52nd BSF Rising Day, India ki har kone mein, har headquarter, har battalion, har CI post aur har border outpost mein manai ja rahe. Isko dubara jo BSF ko lene ka, uski baare mein jada jankari bhi nahi hai. Lekin isme ye stick kiya hua hai ki bhi one force, one border. Abhi Assam Rifle ki paas hai, lekin bich mein ek aise development hua tha IDPB ko Indo-Tibetian Border Police ko dene ke liye. Kyunki Assam Rifle Counter Insurgency ke liye ye log train kiya hua hai, to border guarding ke liye in logo ne IDPB ko dene ke liye. Abhi tak iska hamara koi clear or confirm report nahi hai ki bhi Indo-Myanmar jo border kaun sa force ko de denge. 
Now it's time for a small commercial break. And Minister Karam Sham kept his word as he cycles from his residence in Sanjentong to all the secretariat. We will be back with the news. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. As promised, uh, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Sham today cycles from his official residence to his office at All Secretariat. The minister declares that he would cycle to work every Thursday while participating in a cyclothon on the 26th of this month. The minister kept his word as he cycles from his residence in Sanjentong to All Secretariat and then to the Chief Minister's Secretariat to attend the cabinet meeting. People looked in awe as the minister cycled on the road. Karam Sham told media persons that the politicians of the 21st century must consider the interests of the younger generations and need no longer compete for cozy houses or swanky cars. He also appreciated some BJP MLAs who have given up their monthly salaries for the welfare of people of their respective constituencies. He maintains that it is a sign that changes are taking place in Manipur. He said cycling will not only make the people healthy but remove the difference between the rich and the poor. Karam Sham said he decided to cycle in response to the Prime Minister's appeal to the people to cycle at least once a week. A symposium on Swachta Action Plan 2017-18 will be held on December 6 and 8 at RIMS Jubilee Hall. The event is being organized as part of the Government of India scheme Clean India Mission and students from junior as well as higher secondary levels will take part in it. Three students from Schedule Cast category have been given Dr. Ambedkar National Merit Award. DC Bishnupur Bobby Waikom presented the award to the students at his office yesterday. Moirang Tem Bidyananda from Moirang was presented with 50,000 rupees, while Rebika Salam from Thanga and Hemam Deepa from Moirang were presented with 20,000 rupees each. MOBC in a press release said the last date of submission of application for scheduled CAS pre- and post-metric scholarship 2017-18 has been extended to December 26. In the Barma Sugnu Road, the Bus Owners Welfare Union has strongly condemned the government's decision to introduce MST bus service on Imphal Chandal Road from January 1 next year. The association requested the government to withdraw its decision immediately. A book entitled a Structural Analysis of the Manipuri Language, written by Dr. Usham Chetan, was released today at Mind Champs, Chingmeirong. The author of the book, Dr. Usham Chetan, a retired reader and head of Manipuri Department, DM College of Arts, said the book attempts to study the Manipuri language in detail to understand the uniqueness of the language. He was optimistic that the book will be of immense help to research scholars and linguists. Rule ki sangdra ba yadra ba se. Wahi ya wisi kanga do ba di. War tai ba se. Ba si kari no, war si kari no. Al phrase kari no. Aduga kanga shai ki. Clause kari no. Sentence kari no. Hai ba si wa wa. Wahi ba jada ki na. Sentence wa wa si. Marab da nai na ba di hai ba. Ma si nai na ya hai ba di. Ma si gu ma la di ka si. Tarka nai hai ba iwa di. Mirabai Chanu today became the first Indian in over two decades to claim a gold medal at the World Weightlifting Championship in Anaheim, USA, exercising the cost of her forgettable outing at the Rio Olympics. Mirabai Chanu, who is employed with the Indian Railways, lifted 85 kg in snatch and 109 kg in clean and jerk to total an impressive 194 kg in the women's 48 kg in the process setting a new national record. Seeing the tricolor from the podium, tears 
of joy rolls down her cheeks as Mirabai picked up a rare honor for an Indian at the marquee event. Olympic bronze medalist Karnam Maleshwari had won the top prize in Worlds twice in 1994 and, and 1995. Mirabai Chanu's outing in Anaheim was very different from the way things panned out in Rio Olympics last year when she put up a disappointing performance as she could not get an overall total in women's 48kg after failing to lift the weight in any of her three attempts in clean and jerk section. In a field of 12 lifters at the Rio Games, she was one of the two lifters who did not finish DNF her event. Some of the world's top weightlifting nations such as Russia, China, Kazakhstan, Ukraine and Azerbaijan could not take part in the competition due to issues related to doping. Sports Minister Letpa Haukip expressed happiness at Manipuri weightlifter who represented India, Saiko Mirabai Chanu, winning gold medal at the International Weightlifting Championship held at Anaheim in the United States of America. Addressing media persons at the Training Hall of National Sports Academy at Kumanla Park Main Stadium, Minister Letpa Haukip lauded Mirabai Chanu and said she has brought laurels not only for the state but for the entire country. He said her gold medal reaffirms that Manipur is the powerhouse of sports in the country. He reminded that Chief Minister Nongtumam Biren has also declared the state as a sports city. He said the government of Manipur will discuss what can be done for her. The minister also launched a bumper housey and ticket which will be conducted by Cookie Sporting Club at Cookie Inn on January 31st. International Weightlifting Championship the gold load on the last year. The Manipur government has declared the state as the sports city. The Manipur government has declared the state as the sports city. Lambda Mama, Welakanda, Huegi, Mirabai Chanuna, well lifting the USA, Mapamamda, International Well Lifting Lobase, Yam Nongaina, Pundok Ningbani. Information and Public Relations Minister Tongam Biswajit has congratulated weightlifter Saiko Mirabai Chanu on winning gold at the 2017 World Weightlifting Championships in Anaheim, USA. In his congratulatory message, the minister said the feat is all the more impressive as her win has ended a medal drought of more than two decades for India at the World Championship. Before her, Karnam Maleshwari won the world's title in the 54kg division in 1994 and 1995. Manipur Olympic Association has also congratulated Mirabai Chanu on her success at the World Weightlifting Championship held at Anaheim, USA. The association also wished her luck for the Japan Olympic Games 2020. Manipur's Salai Kripsa, uh, Kripsa trashed as Sai women football team 5-0 at the Hero India League Women TMT in Kuala Lumpur. I beg your pardon, Kohalpur, Maharashtra. Manipur striker Dangmi Grace was at just the player of the match. All Manipur Football Association in a press release said the 61st uh, Sir Churachan Singh, KS, KCSI CBE Memorial Football Tournament will begin on December 15. The entry fee of uh, Rs 5,000 for the tournament can be submitted till December 7. The press release also said the meeting of the manager will be held at AMFA office on December 12. The 12th Manipur State League will resume from December 3 with uh, SSU Sinjamai and Klasa Kaino facing each other in the 51st league match under the aegis of All Manipur Football Association at Artificial Tough Ground Kumbhala Park. The first Governor's Trophy State Level Mukna Kangjai Tournament 2017 will be held from December 2 to 6 at First Manipur Rifles Parade Ground. Pune defeated Mumbai City 2-1 in the 4th Indian Super League 2017-18 football tournament at Sri Shiv Chhatrapati Sports Stadium, uh, Complex Stadium, Pune. The two winning goals came from Emiliano Alfaro in the 74th and 90 plus 3 minutes. And for the Mumbai team, the lone goal was scored by Balwan Singh in the 15th minute. Bengaluru FC will meet FC Goa at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Goa at 8 p.m. tonight. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. 
10-day Manipur Sangai festival concludes. Governor says the festival will bring prosperity in the state. BJP leader Ram Madhav assures that final decision on Premo agreement will not be taken without the consent of stakeholders. Powerful IED found at Koyatong. Police suspect that it is different from those found earlier. And Manipur's Mirabai Chanu wins gold at World Weightlifting Championship in the USA.